Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made these accessories that go around my till area to create the scene in my Tees and Please boutique. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so as this is a gift wrapping area, the first thing which I needed to do was to create the wrapping paper. To do that, I'm using some actual wrapping paper in the color gold and to prevent those pages as they are super lightweight from flying around it, the tiniest gust of wind, I'm holding them in place with some zig two-way glue. I then cut them down to size using my craft knife. Once I'd find a size that I liked, I then roughed up the edges just a little bit, just so that they weren't so perfectly flat. And so it is more obvious that this is layers of tissue paper in place. Next, I'm going to work on my sellotape dispenser. I have a few of these already printed out from previous projects. So all of that I needed to do was to create the actual sellotape. To do that, I'm using a polystyrene rod and some actual sellotape. I cut it down to size, rolled it around the rod and then glued it into place using some tacky glue. For me to create my pencil and my pen, I'm using a regular toothpick and my rotary tool and an emery board. A standard toothpick is two millimeter in diameter. So with me using the emery board with this spinning around, I can get it really, really thin. My pencil and pen, I believe came down to 1.2 millimeter and 1.3 millimeter in diameter. To colour my pens, I first used a black alcohol marker to colour the tips. I then used a red alcohol marker to paint the body of the pencil and a white Posca paint pen to paint the body of the pen. I then put those aside to dry. Last week, a very lovely colleague of mine called Linda, hey Linda, had very generously uh, went out and bought me these clear acrylic straws. They came perfectly in hand for this project as I needed a small container of some sort. So I use this as a glass and I use my jewelry saw to saw off a very small piece. I did cut it at a slide wonk so I had to file that down with a memory board and then to create the base of the glass I use some UV resin and then I cured it for around about three minutes. I then cut off the excess and gave it a slight sanding down on the edges. On a little side note, on my last video, a subscriber had suggested that I was to try a video without music playing in the background. I know for myself, music can sometimes be a turn off for a video. Um, so I'd like to know how you feel about this video without any background music. Is it something you like? Is it not? Please leave your comments below and uh, I'll figure out going forward how I'll approach it. Now switching my attention back to my pencil, I'm using some metallic silver paint to create that small tin at the end of a pencil. I then put that to a side to dry so that I could then move on to the pen. Now for the pen, I wanted it to have a fluffy pom-pom kind of situation. Uh, I thought that that would very much be a pen which I might find inside a sex shop. So to do that, I have these very, very tiny pom-poms. I just selected the pink one, I glued that into place, and that gave me that look. I would have liked it a little bit fluffier, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. And to create the rubber for the end of this pencil, I used a very light pink colour, and I dipped the pencil into it so that it gave me a more bulbous shape. And again, I just left that aside to dry. I had a little route through my stash and I found these small scissors. I believe these were part of a Chris and Bond kit, possibly. And they just work perfect for this little scene. And now I can start gluing things into place. So to do that, I'm using the Aliens Quick Dry Tacky Glue. 
Uh, shout out to Mary. Thank you for reminding me about the toothpick tip. Uh, I definitely forgot it. And this glue certainly does create quite the mess when it comes to its applicator nozzle. So thank you for that, Mary. To make the bags for my shop, I went on to Cricut Design Space and used a, a pre-made design there to save me having to figure out any measurements. I snipped off the love hearts that were on the top of this particular design. I then coloured my bag black and I used a font which was the same as the teasing please above my store and coloured it in gold. I then used the um, print and then cut function, though I didn't cut it, uh, but I, I just printed it out. Whenever I'm printing out to make miniatures, I always use this Coronation Craft cardstock. It is absolutely beautiful quality when you print out. My printer did make my printer a little bit wobbly, but that's fine. So like I said, I didn't use the cut function from the print and cut. I just printed it out and then I cut them out by hand. Uh, you're not going to see them necessarily, so it didn't matter that they weren't perfect. Uh, for me to score my edges, I just used the side of my ruler. And I did cover my edges with a black alcohol marker so that you wouldn't see any white. I then glued my pieces together again. Thank you, Mary. Uh, this certainly saved me a whole lot of mess. For the back handles, I used a poker tool and a very tatty old mouse mat for me to pierce those holes into place. For the actual straps themselves, I used some wax cotton. I then fed it through and then glued those into place using Aileen's Tacky Glue. To make it look as though someone had just made a purchase from the store, I used some of the offcuts of the gold wrapping paper and glued those into place inside the bag. To make these stacks of bags, I cut out the front panel only of my image. I stacked them together and crudely cut them down to size. Then using a pokey tool, I pierced through all the layers of the paper. I didn't need to do this, and if you do something like this, you won't need to pierce all of the paper. You'd only need to pierce the top bag. Uh, because what I did was I glued all of my bags together so that you wouldn't have seen any of those details and really they could have all just been glued on the underside without the holes. So for the first one I thread it like I would a bag. I then painted all of my edges in black so that we would see none of the white showing through. I then held those down into place using double sided tape. I then gave them a slight curl around to give them a little bit more shape and then I glued everything together using Aileen's Tacky Glue. I then cut off the bottom to make the bottom of my bag even and I coloured that edge with a black alcohol marker and then I repeated the process for the next three bags. Once they were complete, I glued them all together to create a stack using Aileen's Tacky Glue. This little stack would be perfect to sit on the back side of my till or maybe on the top of my counter, which is where I think I might actually display them so that we can see them. So this is just a, a really short video just to show how I made these. Uh, in my next video, I do plan on making some condoms. So it is going to be a little bit more... Uh, in going toward the sex shop vibe um so i hope you enjoy the video if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing give me a like um, leave me some comments if there's anything which you would like to see inside this project please leave me some comments and if it is something which i'm able to do uh, i will certainly try and add that into it so i hope you are having a great day and i will see you soon bye